Okay, um, I'm sorry it's been ages, forever since I've put out some tutorials, and uh, it's because I've just been, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone uses the excuse that they're so busy, but I really have been so busy. But um, anyway, I got an iPad and started developing for the iPad, so uh, let me start uh, helping you guys out, putting out tutorials on that. And so the very first thing I wanted to do was show you how to create an uh, iPad formatted quote unquote program. There's two ways to go about doing this um, that I know of so far, which is uh, one, you can start a new project and uh, under your iPhone OS, under your application settings, you can select view based application and you can simply just select under your product, you can select iPad version, okay? And uh, once you do that, you will get a uh, Xcode project uh, that's formatted for the iPad. The simulator will be the iPad simulator. Uh, and then you can just start developing like you have been before. Uh, the other way to do it is a bit more complicated, but um, I'm going to show you how to do this now, which is how to convert the uh, programs that you already have, uh, maybe have started creating for the iPhone, and create uh, convert those over to the iPad. So uh, here I have a program that uh, I just built uh, which is like an iPhone program and as you can see it's the simplest of programs you just tap on a button and it changes the uh, text of this label here alright so let's quit the simulator so it's a very simple program um, has just uh, the bare bones minimum going on but uh, let's convert that to an iPad project and it's uh, pretty easy to do this first thing under the uh, build menu here you want to select iPhone simulator 3.2 also, you're going to need Xcode, the, this uh, new version, Xcode version 3.2.2, you can find on the uh, developer.apple.com. Uh, you can download that for free once you signed up as a developer. And, uh, of course, all the other restrictions apply. And, uh, okay, so you've selected your simulator. The next thing to do is go on your targets. Down here you have a little target. And uh, you should have a target with a little application uh, symbol here. So just double click on that and make sure that here under your base SDK, okay, select iPhone Simulator 3.2, okay. Now once you have done that, in the project menu, you should see this highlighted now. It's been grayed out before. Upgrade current target for iPad, all right. And then you have the choice. Do you want to make one universal application that's going to run on both? Or do you want to do a two-device uh, specific application? Well, I'm going to go for the two because I can show you um, exactly what the uh, iPad version looks like. And if you just follow these instructions, it will walk you through it. So I'll just click on OK. And so as you can see, we have new uh, items here. We have uh, other sources. And we have under our resources here, we have a resources iPad. And we have a new target. Okay, so let's look at our iPad version here. Well, let's run our program, and you'll see that the iPad simulator comes up. It says iPhone simulator, but as you can see, it's it's much huger. And uh, what you see is um, an iPhone application running inside the iPad. So if you were to tap on this, you would be able to zoom in and out, and it, it runs exactly like it did before. But we want to make an actual um, native iPad uh, version, so let's uh, set things up for that um, what we can do is go here uh, again to the build menu and under your active <clears throat> target you can select the new iPad version under your active ex once you do that it will select the active executable for you or it should if it didn't select that okay so now when we run that we will see that everything's been done for us uh, we now have the full screen uh, iPad uh, program running and uh, the functionality as you can see is exactly the same. So that's how you can uh, create new iPad uh, programs and how you can uh, upgrade your existing um, programs and apps to the new format. So I hope that this helps you and again I'll be putting out many more tutorials in the future. I'm just uh, busy doing the same thing I showed you, converting all my stuff over, working on uh, several iPhone programs at work and at home and other things, so uh, it's been a busy, busy time. Thank you. Bye.